This is called the escutcheon, and as you will know, an escutcheon is one of the twiddly brass things that you get on an old piece of furniture. And it's also about a dream I had where two joiners came to the house. I know other people's dreams are not always interesting, but this is a piece about two joiners came to the house about an escutcheon. It's called the escutcheon, or a dream about two joiners. The shorter of the joiners says they've come to mend the cabinet. I'm not sure that I own a cabinet and don't remember phoning, but I ask them in and show them round the house. We find a cabinet upstairs, along the landing, in a bedroom with neck curtains blowing out. I say, I think I'm dreaming this. This bedroom isn't in my house. I hoover every room on Thursdays and I've never hoovered here. The taller joiner rubs his nose and shakes his head. Well, I'm not being dreamt, make no mistake, he says. I'm only ever dreamt in my own dreams. I dream fast action, cars and women dreams. In colour, in big cities and on motorways. But still, this cabinet you think you didn't phone about. He opens doors and drawers and feels inside. The hinges are performing well, he says. The glass doors seem transparent, and the drawers have space in them for you to fill with things. It's this escutcheon that's the root of it. <laughs> it doesn't cut the mustard, in my view. He taps his pencil end against his teeth. To get a brass escutcheon matching this, we'd need to order it from 1910. <laughs> he smooths his hair back in the manner of a man who put his shirt on what he's saying. And we kneel in line like wise men with no gifts and ponder the escutcheon at the root of it. Red tulips with blue stems and leaves are intertwining on the carpet in the bedroom, on the landing. And though I can't see from where I'm kneeling, down the stairs and through the hall onto the pavement of the street in Doncaster that features in my favourite dreams. But this dream's in a semi on George Cunliffe Avenue. Ah, yes, there's half a chance, the shorter joiner hisses, and his fingers spin a brazen bit as if we've only seconds left before six guards burst in, provided that the dream's not ending and that this won't be the last line of the poem. <laughs>